outside the university gates compared to the chaos of Tuesday morning. Calm and stability has been returned to the university and security personnel have a firm grip on students queuing. A few parents and applicants continue to wait, unaware that the late application process had been cancelled. The university has acknowledged it fell short on security but rejected criticism that it didn't communicate the application process adequately. UJ will accept 19-year-old Jose Zile Sikwena on a full bursary. His mother Gloria died in the stampede. Little comfort for the young student whose quest for education came at a massive cost. Uh, the university has committed resources uh, uh, in the form of a bursary. Um, uh, also a positive uh, story is that Edu Loan has uh, offered uh, 10,000 rands bursary uh, to him. So that will be added uh, into um, what is required for him uh, to begin and to continue his studies. Later in the day, the vice chancellor visited another parent injured in the stampede. Kiriboni Mulete, a military nurse, was accompanying her son to apply for a BCom degree. Uh, we can confirm that uh, the patient is admitted uh, in a very stable condition. Mulete's son will also be admitted to UJ. Student bodies and higher education South Africa say there must be a review of the admission policies of universities countrywide. They cited the model used in KwaZulu-Natal. We have worked very hard on developing a culture of application on time, making sure that applications are processed, constant contact with applicants. We keep them informed of the status of their application. We believe that there must be a national application office where everybody needs to apply to. So we believe that once we have that center, it will be able to take a bulk of the applicants. UJ will now process the 17,500 conditional applicants applications granted last year. It will also review the 7,000 late applications submitted since Monday. Nozindombi Mia, SABC News, Johannesburg.